fun clips. Let's do some palate cleansers. So, Tim Pool, uh, I know his audience is really upset with us, but you know, once again, if you guys keep commenting and watching the show and like and subscribe, we'll, we'll we might learn. Yeah, we'll see your comments, and then maybe we'll realize that Tim is a really brilliant, great guy. Anyway, so Tim's big bug up his ass this week is Kristen Stewart, who was in the Twilight movies and what, like American Ultra, and she's in a new movie called Love Lies Bleeding that's coming out. But Kristen Stewart recently came out as, uh, I think, bisexual, as queer, right? And um, she's doing this new movie, and she did a photo shoot for the cover of Rolling Stone. And she did it in a very, it takes place at a gym, but she's wearing traditionally male kind of gym clothes. So it's kind of a gender bending kind of photo shoot. Well, Tim Pool was not happy about this. So let's skip to Tim Pool and watch what he said. This is, uh, I think this is from the, uh, the Majority Report clip some of this. So you might hear them in there too. But here's Tim Pool on Kristen Stewart and the cover of Rolling Stone. So Rolling Stone did a cover with Kristen Stewart. Of course, everybody knows Kristen Stewart from Twilight. So following this, there was widespread criticism of the photo shoot because Kristen Stewart uh, used what, what they describe as masculine coated props, like a jock strap and a leather vest or whatever. Following the criticism, sorry, Rolling Stone. What, the, this one goes in widespread criticism. Can we cite a source? Can we put a, a name to this, like, for the right wing freaks? I mean, you know, what we've learned from Claudine Gay is that you've got to cite yourself. Even in <laughs> so, yeah, so what's the widespread criticism? There isn't any. She's right. you got to cite yourself. If I criticize it, it's widespread criticism. <laughs> So, so wait, what he means to say is I spread criticism, criticism. widely. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get more into this because this gets funny. In your own, oh, man, even okay. in your own work, because that could be called plagiarism. He's going. Published this. Right wingers are terrified of our gay Kristen Stewart cover. We'd honestly be surprised if they could name a movie she's done since Twilight. Um... It is hard to to think of any movies that she's done, to be completely honest. An Oscar but uh, I did something. see American Ultra. I don't know, like, I think that was 10 years ago. And uh, Snow White. And um, what That's else? Right, she she, I don't know what else she's in, to be completely so honest. Movie, and I think the funny thing about this is uh, saying that we'd be surprised if they could name a movie she's done since Twilight is kind of the point. So there is some speculation that a move like this from Chris, Kristen Stewart doing like this shocking photo shoot is desperation can you pause she's it she's not <laughs> first of all um i gotta say this There's... wait if you're if if you're being asked to do the cover <laughs> of well you're not desperate no i'd say things are going pretty good i would say things are going pretty I well i mean they don't go Huh, let's think about who's the most desperate, has been, dried up, washed out performer we can find. Let's ask them to be on our cover. Hey. I feel like that's not how Rolling Stone tends to work. Yeah, if Rolling Stone called us and said, Duncan Lacius, we'd like you guys to be on the cover, we wouldn't sit there and say to them, I don't know, we're not that desperate. <laughs> We'd probably say, uh, sure. Right. What do you? I'll wear a thong. I don't care. <laughs> Just give me some notice so I can do some push-ups and, <laughs> and stuff. I don't want to look too bad. <laughs> um, no, I just think that plus the whole, yeah, God, the whole desperate, pathetic thing from a guy who wears a beanie to hide his bald spot. He never takes the beanie off. He's talking about being desperate and pathetic from a, a really attractive woman on the cover of Rolling Stone. Oh yeah, yeah, she's she's really sucking it up here, guys. <laughs> so let's we'll dive more into this. This is just crazy. Twilight was big when it was big, but you know, Robert I, I Pattinson, was that was big for him. I know he wasn't a big fan, of it, but he also did Harry Potter. And Kristen Stewart, that was big for her, and she's done like some movies since then, I guess. I mean, come on. You can't name a movie that she's done since twenty. Uh, that's stupid. So here, let me look this up. 
Let's see, she's done two. Uh, so what's so six times eight? Was that forty-eight? Fifty-one. She's done fifty-one movies. Yep, sounds desperate. Yeah, she's really in, in deep shit. She does a lot of independent shit, though, which doesn't really shock me. Um, a lot of actors, when you have that kind of, when you're an A-list actor with that kind of money, a lot of times you just, you do the projects you want to do. As opposed to right. the, the, the money-making projects. But, yeah. So she's, yeah, she's done a lot of movies. I don't know what he's bitching about. But we'll get back in. How many movies have you done, Tim? <laughs> I know if you asked me... How many movies like have it. you done? I'd be like, uh, let's talk about something else. <laughs> and you. Here's what's funny about this. I would like Rolling Stone to know I am not terrified in any way of your cover. In fact, I didn't even comment on it until now. I Sorry, just really quick. Is he acknowledging that he's a right winger as a result of this? Uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> now I'm going to. I can't speak for other anti-woke social media accounts, but I'm going to start this segment off very simply before reading their criticism and then i want to show you uh, some examples kristen stewart looks gross <laughs> i'm not trying to be mean oh i don't know or care for kristen stewart i don't care that she dresses how she wants to dress and i honestly didn't care that i don't care that she doesn't wear the, the exact same thing on her head or right. you want to play <laughs> kristen stewart looks gross all right now we're going to uh He's going to comment on her appearance and uh, her, you know, they're fairly uh, suggestive. It's Rolling Stone. Of course it is. You know, photos. But we're going to talk about this now at length. Tim, St or Tim Pool's going to talk about it. Which actually brings us into our new segment about creepy guys. Here you go, everybody. <laughs> Tim Pool, gonna be creepy. Diving right in. <laughs> Play this game and talk about what's going on. I'll tell you where I'm at. When the Gamergate stuff was happening, my attitude for all the video games that were getting woke was, hey man, more power to you. You make your video game, that's great. Uh, I won't buy it. Rolling Stone runs the cover of a greasy looking, disheveled <laughs> individual who looks like they have become a drug addict. And that was a little bit harsh, but... Yeah, I'm just not going to mince words here. I'm not going to buy your magazine. Don't I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not terrified of a woman who looks bad, and she doesn't care that I think she looks bad. She probably doesn't care for my opinions. She probably thinks I look bad. She's gay. She can say that if she wants. That's not fine. not just gay. I don't know if that's the only thing. The point I will bring up that. is... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold well, on. I don't wanna... <laughs> <laughs> the only way a woman could, the only reason she would say you look gross is because she's gay? Look. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, look, I mean, you gotta project confidence. I, I can't begrudge you that. Can we, can we pull up these photos of her um, from, the, from, the, from the rollings? I mean, like, this is just, I mean, this is gross. She looks gross here. I mean, how, like, how... <laughs> Bro, I don't know, man. You just, you just. Uh, she, he might just like not like seeing the female body. I mean, she, she is scantily clad in this, but she looks gross. Hey, to each their <laughs> own. To each their own. Um. <laughs> She's right, though. It's so stupid. I mean, she looks fine. I just don't even know why this is a thing they're worrying about. What the hell? It's because she's gay. That's what it is. Right. It's, it's, it's this whole anti-gay shit. That's all it is. He's upset that gay people have more place in culture and they're doing more stuff. But you're also talking about a guy who spends all of his time placating to the incel crowd, the we-can't-get-laid crowd. Right? The teenage and boys and boys in their 20s that are white, non-college educated who can't, you know, who can't get, who can't get a, you know, a girlfriend or maybe a boyfriend. I doubt any of them are gay, but, you know. 
and we covered this last time. It's not hard to meet women, but if you're listening to Tim Pool, you're just shooting yourself in the foot, guys. <laughs> there are not a lot of chicks listening to Tim Pool thinking he's cool. His his audience is eighty percent male. So not the guy I would be going to for sex advice, right? It's like I remember this. Nope, nope, not Uncle Tim. Nope, not Uncle Tim. I remember this when I was in junior high, and um, you know, you got to pick your electives, and all my friends were like, take like shop and wood shop and stuff like that, and I took uh, theater arts and home ec, and everybody was like, why would you do that? All the girls take theater arts and home ec, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, you're out in 100 degree heat building a birdhouse. I'm going to be in an air conditioned room baking with all the girls. <laughs> and I'm going to be the only right. guy in that class. So I like my odds. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Just say it. Well, watch a couple more seconds of this and then we'll move on. But I just, this is just classic. He's just... Rolling Stone or whatever. And I guess I do understand, but. Why do you have to look like a drug addict to be a queer icon or whatever? Are you a homeowner <laughs> juggling? <laughs> He's okay. We're done. He said we're done with that point. I'm not upset, but she's a fucking drug addict and she looks gross. But I'm not upset about this. I'm not. <laughs> Well, okay. Sounds like he's going to have a busy week in therapy. Yep. Everybody's, uh... Ladies, if you've never been in a relationship with an abusive, insecure man, that was your taste of it. Yep. There we go. That's what it's like. See, here at Gossip Finance, we save you the time and energy of having to go through those traumas. But still understanding what those traumas look like. I'll just give you a very small clip and comment on it for you. Yeah. Now you know what to avoid. <laughs> okay, well, we got, we're going to do one last clip and then we're going to wrap up. <laughs>